everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. So if you are one of my regular viewers or subscribers, welcome back. And if you're someone who's new, who's just came across my channel, thanks for, for watching and hopefully you'll like this video and you'll also subscribe. And like I always tell people, you know, every time you guys like and subscribe, to my channel it really does help me to get more views and also helps me generate a little bit of revenue so that i can produce more videos for you guys so please if you like this video give it a like and hopefully you'll be one of my regular followers but what i'm going to be doing today is i am just going to jump right into this so one of the things that happened recently was and i'm not sure if this has ever happened to anybody here but i thought i would do a video on it because i you know i'm all about learning and also finding ways that you can save money as well so my son has this louis vuitton belt and the actual buckle came right off, which I never even thought about the buckle coming off, but I guess it does come off and it can't come off. So if you look at the buckle, this is the way these belts are usually, this is how it usually looks like this, right? It's usually set up like this, right? And then your belt just goes right through here, through the back, right? So you don't see it. Well, this whole buckle, this whole thing came right out. So I went online and I was looking for um, a way to get it fixed. And a lot of people recommend sending it out to, you know, Raggle Brothers or Cobbler and all these other places that actually do really good work. But, you know, I didn't want to spend $50 to have someone just put a screw on it. First, you're going to pay the shipping to send it there, the shipping back. And then you're also going to pay for the, for the actual labor and a screw. So I thought, well, you know what, maybe I can find a more creative and cheaper route way to do this. So to my surprise, I started doing a little bit of homework on this and research on it. And I found that you can actually fix this yourself. So I wanted to show you guys what I ended up doing and how I was able to fix this. So as you can see, it's not really attaching here. So it comes right out. So now let's put it back in here. You'll see that it does have a couple of screws. Well, two of the, I'm going to go close so you guys can see this. Two of the screws were already in. What happened was one of the screws came out and the other ones were loose and that's why this whole buckle came right out. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I found these screws, this little bag of screws. I paid $8, I have it, have it up on my computer here. I paid $8.99. It comes with 30 screws, it comes with a little screwdriver and it's the exact size screw for the standard men's belt here. So I just wanna show you again. So the one thing I wanted to mention was the actual belt actually comes with the straight screws. What I found online is a, a the actual star screw, you know, like the, the other screwdriver, which I'm so bad with that kind of stuff, I should probably know. So I, it did have a straight and it had the, the star. So I actually, I mean, there's one screw that's a little bit different, but you can't even see it. So I do wanna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can here, but I'm gonna turn around. So here I have the straight, right? Because the, the actual belt comes with straight screws. So let me just make sure I align this right. So I found the spot. And the way I know how to put this back on is you can see where the indentations are right there, where the actual, where it was at before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fit the top of this belt just to kind of match. You can see where the coloring is a little different, where it's been used. So I'm just going to go all the way up to right there. And actually you can kind of feel the difference when you slide it up. So I am going to just go ahead and start screwing. So I do have a really small straight screwdriver here. And these, again, these are the screws that the belt originally came with. Now I have another one here. So now it looks like, and, and of course, you, know, you gotta have really good eyes to do this. So I'm trying to do it high for you guys, but. Okay, now you've got the other one. That one's actually the star, right? So I actually, because it comes with that screw, I already put the screw in for the video purposes so that I wouldn't be here trying to, you know, focus my eyes, put that in. But you can see all I'm doing is just screwing it in. Obviously you want to be careful, but. So now, look at that. So now it fits. So I do just want to show, show you that again. So I'm going to try to get as close as I can. So there you can see how the two top have the straight and the bottom has like the star. But again, who's going to see that? Now, by doing this, I paid $8.99 with Amazon Prime. And I will include a link in this video so that if you are looking for these exact screws, you'll know exactly which ones they are. But just check that out. How incredible is that? That it's, it's on. It's not going anywhere. And I paid $8.99 with Amazon Prime. So I didn't pay for shipping. And the whole belt's fixed. And again, I was I was quoted almost $50 to fix it plus shipping. So 
I think I saved some money there. And I just wanted to, to mention this to everybody. If you have th this type of belt that has the LV where it can slide out, I will say after this happened to this belt, I went ahead and just started looking at my other belts. And actually, to my surprise, I found that my other Louis Vuitton belt, which I'll show you. So I found that this belt is the same concept. Obviously, it's a lot smaller because it's a women's belt and I have a small belt. But you can see it's got the actual LV with the same thing there. But if you look at the back, it has those screws. And when I looked at my belt, the screws were all very loose. So I would say that it's probably a good idea from time to time. Get, invest, get yourself a tiny little screwdriver. I'm sure these are like less than a dollar. You can find them anywhere. And just make sure that you actually tighten up those screws because it is a pain in the butt to try to find that screw again. Luckily, I will put it in this video in the description so that you have that link. But again, like I said, I mean, what a great, great way to fix your own belt without having to spend that extra money. And I will say the actual screw sizes, I will say that the actual screw sizes for the men's belt and the women's belt or the smaller belt it's actually the same size. So you can use it for either belt. I just wanted to mention that. So this is, you know, like I said, this was gonna be a really quick video. I just wanted to share this information because it's something that I learned and I'm all about saving money and being able to save time as well. So if you have any questions about this video, please leave me a comment. Hopefully you like this video and as usual, I will see you next time.